Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop, and today I'm going to do a series of tests with the new Cyber Blower. Here is the first uh, dry run of just normal snow, but it's kind of icy, kind of packed down. So let's see how it handles this. <laughs> Seems to have no problem with that. So here is test number two. So I have these river rocks. They're between about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. So I'm gonna put a bunch of them in the snow here. And see what happens when it hits them. So it should trip the fuse if the impeller gets jammed up completely. If it doesn't get jammed up, they should get thrown out the chute. So just like any snowblower, be really careful wherever you're aiming your blower at all times. Well, it looks like it hit one right away, actually. Didn't even get a chance to get in the snow. So it looks like it actually bent the metal flap. Here is test number three. I replaced the fuse, but I'm going to try with that same bent paddle because uh, it's not hitting anything. Let's see what it does on a third pass. There it went again. It looks like the fuse tripped again, which is the point of this whole system. Any rocks that you accidentally have in your driveway won't do major damage to the snowblower. It only will affect replaceable components. Here is the aftermath of the rock test. And there is virtually no damage to the augers. There is a little bit of bending to a blade. You can see right here. But it's aluminum, so you can kind of just straighten it out with a pliers. Unlike my old 3D printed blades, um, these will handle quite a lot of abuse before they would need to be replaced. And the kit comes with four extra blades, and it will come with a ton of extra molded parts. And these are only 3D printed right now. They're the prototypes. Once they're molded, they'll be even stronger. And these gears are molded, same gears from the Cyber Cat. But the pinion back here is only 3D printed, which will also be molded. So I have yet to break any of the prototype plastic parts. Even these two main drive gears are 3D printed, and I have not had any damage on them. The only damage was one of the blades, and ignore that hole, that was from some scrap material that I used that already had a hole in it. But. When the uh, rock got jammed, I have this extra wear plate. So, just the slightest nick damage to the entrance, you know, where the, uh, where the snow gets in there. So, I bet the rock was right here when it jammed. It did bend this, but you've seen it trip the fuse immediately. And then to show you how easy it is to replace these, I already loosened the screw. So you just pull them outwards like this. And then there's a slot that they ride in and then the screw clamps it. And it appears that there's no damage to the slot, which is good. So the only part that actually broke from a complete rock 
C's like jam was the blade bent and I bet you could bend this back with a hammer just kind of hammer it back flat and put it right back in there and then you can even see on the edge took uh, some nicks out of it too probably as it bent it but yeah I couldn't find any other damage besides that so I, I feel like it serves its uh, purpose really well.